going on guys? It's Gerard. We are back and better than ever on the backyard mini ramp. I normally don't start these videos all sweaty, um, but I wasn't completely sure I was actually going to go for this today. So I wanted to kind of warm up, see how I was feeling and then start the video. Um, so I feel good enough to try it. Last year, if you saw the video, I put a little clip at the beginning. I landed my first blunt to fakie and uh, my only blunt to fakie. So that's a trick that beat me up pretty bad. <laughs> All of my body was hurting. I had been trying that trick for at least a week straight of every session just coming out and do blunt fakies. And so kind of wrecked my body and in a lot of ways took away from some of my other tricks too. And so after I landed it that night, I practiced it a couple more sessions. And the funny part was I remember there was a comment on the video that said I was still leaning too far forward. And that kind of stuck in my head. And so a few days later, I went out, I was practicing them and I was almost landing it every try. I started leaning further back and I thought I had it, but then I took a really bad slam, hit my head and I was pretty much over the trick and wanted to take a break for a while. So since then, I've gotten a lot more comfortable, learned a lot more tricks, probably wouldn't have if I just did blunt fakies all the time. But it's always been in the back of my mind that I need to get that trick back. So I feel like what better time than now? So I'm gonna start going for it. One thing I didn't do before was learn how to do um, the nose grab pull out blunt fakie. And I feel like watching a lot of videos in that time that that will really help me get more comfortable landing on the board when I come in, which was the problem with the majority of my fall. So I'm gonna try learning that first. Honestly, I'd be pretty stoked to get that. I feel pretty comfortable with the pop out still. So I feel like if I can get comfortable landing back in, then I just got to put the two together. Um, but obviously we'll see how that goes. Right now I'm just playing scared. Last time I was messing around with this when I learned blunt fakie the first time, I couldn't even get the pull out. So that feels really easy actually. I'm just not committing with my back foot. I watch myself step off every single time because it feels safe. I just gotta commit to it. I gotta jump on, put both feet on, take the slam or ride away. So I'm going for it. Power the glove! Uh, not gonna lie, I always told myself I wouldn't learn that trick because I thought it would actually mess me up learning blunt fakie, but landing back on the board over and over is giving me way more confidence. Feels really good to land that missed a tail saw on the other side, which is funny, but felt awesome to get that. I'm gonna keep working on that. I wanna be able to try and land that three, four, five more times before I even try blunt fakie, just so I can get that feeling built in my head. But that is a great first step to getting this trick consistent because I definitely never landed blunt fakie that clean. So let's keep it going. All right, so I landed like five of them in a row. I'm gonna find that comment, whoever it was, I'm gonna put it up right now. But they were right, I was leaning way too far forward. 
If you notice you're kind of in like a, I don't know, like a prancer pose, you're, you're too far forward. Your head should not be over your front leg. And by the way, it's way better on this trick to fall backwards because you have an opportunity to knee slide than it is to slam forwards, which I have a lot of experience with. But the goal today is blunt fakie, so I'm gonna land a couple more of those and then take the glove off. See if we can get it. What? Absolutely unreal. I can't believe it. Dude, this is why I make these videos. This is what I love about it. That I can land a blunt fakie, feel good about myself like I did something great, and then somebody on the internet can see me do it and still say, hey man, you did it wrong, but actually give me good advice. Because if he never left that comment, I don't know that I ever would have leaned back. That's the absolute key to this trick, 100%. I'm literally telling myself to lean my head back this way because then you're in the same plane with the ramp so the pop out is easier, everything is easier. Your weight's in the right place, it feels so much better. This one feels especially good because if you watch my first one, I mean, it was weak, right? I mean, I kind of barely manualed in, barely made it. This one was a proper ollie pop in, felt incredible. The only thing is, I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made last time, and I'm not gonna wait a year to land another one. So, as they say, two to make it true. All right, it took me a little while to get another one. I was getting distracted with other fakie tricks, trying to do some setup stuff, but once I honed in again, landed a couple more nose grab, blunt fakies. I ended up getting two in a row, almost three, but I bailed the last one. But three in one session today, that's huge. Definitely not gonna wait another year before I land this trick again. I'm gonna try and keep it as a part of my normal repertoire. Keys to this trick, I'll tell you right now. If you're like me and you don't like nose grab, blunt fakie, just swallow your pride and learn it. It's 10 times easier and it 100% gives you that feeling of landing back on your board. I think that's the most important part. I was conscious of trying not to just jump and pull the board in with my nose. I still was popping with my back foot. So I think that helped a little bit to get the motion, but having that safety net of your hand on the nose makes a huge difference. And now I know going forward, I'll be able to land that trick I mean, any time, pretty much. I had it pretty consistent towards the end. So if I'm struggling with blunt fakie, I can always go back to that. Number two, um, when you do go for the pop, you just wanna kick your front foot out a little bit. Give your tail enough room to pop. You'll notice on some of my attempts, I don't get a good pop backwards, even though I'm leaning right. And it's just because I didn't put my foot forward a little bit. So give your tail a little bit room. But biggest tip, 100%, post it at the video, but lean back. like further back than you think. It's way better to fall back, this is one of the only tricks that it is, to fall backwards and forwards 
falling forwards will destroy you. So I'm seriously thinking of myself leaning back like this as I'm going up the transition. You might even be able to see that, but lean really far back. It makes landing on the board easier. It makes popping out easier. It makes everything easier. So this feels amazing. Honestly, I did not expect to land this in one session, let alone land it multiple times. So feels great. This is one of those tricks that's been on my mind for a long time since I last landed it. So it feels good to land it and land a proper one. So I don't have to deal with that thought in my head about the only one I ever landed looked pretty ugly. So feels really good. Thank you guys for hanging around the video this far. Like I said, don't know when we'll get the next one. I try and skate whenever I can, but I appreciate all the comments you guys leave, likes, whatever, just watching the video and watching me fall a lot. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.